We spent a wonderful night watching the snow come down and a nice cozy house. Yep. <laughs> Today we're off to go to a bakery that's supposed to have really good gluten-free bread. Moxie in Louisville, Colorado. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? And also it's quite chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, but chilly. <laughs> I got ciabatta bread. Look at this thing. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Mmm. Yum. Wow. Hi. That's our friend Linda. She's cool. <laughs> this is the famous gluten-free bread from Moxie. That is Linda who just cut her finger off, so um, she's not going to be on video much. <laughs> we finally she has a nasty mouth. We finally got her to stop screaming vulgarities. <laughs> And we bandaged her finger up for her. So I'm gonna try the bread. Okay, here we go. Thank you, doctor. I clearly have tried it already. You <laughs> got <laughs> butter dripping out of He never gets. I tell you, it's the best. Gluten free bread. This seriously is absolutely amazing gluten free bread. I will give Moxie thumbs up for the best gluten free bread ever. And now I'm just gonna eat it all. Goodbye. We're in downtown Denver for lunch with somebody special. Haven't seen her on video since before we even started doing a vlog. It is. It's my goddaughter, Nicole. Hello. <laughs> the last time we saw her on video was like four years ago. And she was just little. I was a baby. It's miso with shiitake. The miso is very rich. And with the mushrooms in it, it's really good. <laughs> What do you have, just water? Just water. Oh, no. no, I wanna have shishitos. Watch your language, young lady. <laughs> oh, try your shishitos. You have to try this. It's amazing. It tastes so good. Mm. They're amazing. Muy bueno. Oh, they have soy sauce, mm -hmm. vinegar. How about the shishitos? Oh, those are so good. Right? Wow. That There's... sauce is great to dip in too. Yeah. Yeah. And you got in a moment? And these are charred. Like they're roasted. Mm. They're good. Enjoy. Crispy rice cake. Alright. I don't know what this is because I didn't order. Crispy rice cake. Wow. Really crispy rice? Because you tried with that. Uh, Cold sushi on it. It's really good flavor with lemon. Not a big fan of lemon, but those are really good. Bowl number two mm -hmm. of Cheeto peppers. Did you order those? No, I ordered them. You ordered those? I ordered them. I'm in trouble. This one has cilantro. Mm. Blue sake sushi. What do you think? Really good. Really very, good. very good. Three thumbs up. That was great. <laughs> Nicole picked it. Si. You get to pick sushi again, and we got her to try some new sushi that she didn't try before. See, si. it was great. It was really good. It was lovely to see you again. Yes, this was nice awesome. Nice sweet little goddaughter. <laughs> Putting herself through law school in Denver because she's awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna drive now. Just leave it all behind. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. The drive was gorgeous, but there was a crazy windstorm. The winds were gusting to about 70 miles an hour, which is about 110 kilometers an hour. It was absolute carnage on the roadway. We saw about six or seven of those big semi trucks blown over onto their sides. We finally made it to Twin Falls, Idaho, where we grabbed dinner and hit the sack. Now we're rested up and heading out to see what Twin Falls has to offer. Yay, it's snowing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow, it is really snowing. Wow, I'm not sure I want to go down this road. 
So we're going to Shoshone Falls before it gets completely snowed out or freezing. <laughs> they drive down that road, the temperature's dropping, the snow's falling, we might not be able to get back up it. Wow. This is a place that is a must to see when it's not snowing. It is beautiful. It's pretty gorgeous in the snow too. My God, the snow is really coming down. Watch this fall. <laughs> we know we got down. We're not sure if we'll get back up. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how heavy this snow is. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this, <laughs> even though, hey, I've got great shoes on. <laughs> the saga of Katie's wonderful footwear continues. Wow. How could I love this so much? It's cold, it's wet, but this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> We're balancing our time on just how much snow we think can stick and we can still drive out of here. Yeah, because it's a steep incline. <laughs> if we fail, you'll definitely know. <laughs> All right. I'm soaking wet and my hands are cold. Surprisingly, my feet are just fine. This snow is not dry, it's really wet. Away we go. <laughs> yeah, we made it just in time. Yeah. This is dodgy. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh wow. That hill's just starting to freeze and slick and we just got over the top of it. Well, we made it back without crashing in the snow, spent the evening in the hotel. Now we're out to do a little hike despite the freezing cold. It is really, really gorgeous here. Coffee? Jacket, let's go. <laughs> well, if the high paid weather profits and you know, AccuWeather app are to be believed, this is about the only sun we're gonna see today. We have a plan. You just have to come along with us to find out. It's a mostly indoor plan. That's the Snake River running down there. It warmed up just enough that the ice is melting on the uh, pathway. We'll try not to land on our butt. <laughs> A little slippery. They have the right idea. <laughs> soon, soon. I think about the first time people came here and saw the river and decided to live down there. Bet and it was in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> they did say they had a lot of dams upriver, so maybe it was all water when people normally came here. <laughs> Talking about flood, wow, this is the big flood. Look at how everything was underwater. All of this that we've driven was all underwater. There's Provo. I love Mother Nature. <laughs> Looking like the weather report might have been accurate. After this beautiful hike in the cold, we have something special planned. We're at Miracle Hot Springs. We don't normally follow around doing what other vloggers are doing, but Kara and Nate came to this place when they were going through Twin Falls, and we were like, we have to go there when we go to Twin Falls. It's really nice. There's the big public pool that you can get in, and there's like six person pools, and then there's these little private rooms. The dressing room is right here, so you don't have to worry about lockers or anything. They have really nice bathrooms. One hour private pool, with it's about two people, which seems like it's more, is uh, $25. You get a major high five for this place. Oh wait, this was Karen Nate. Karen Nate get a high five for this place. Yes, they do. Good job, Karen Nate. <laughs> Bring water, don't forget. 
that was fantastic, worth every penny. And yes, I changed into a new dress. <laughs> Don't they have limited private tubs? So make sure to reserve online. That was lovely. <laughs> Seriously, we have to make more of a point to go to more hot tub or more hot springs. Especially when they have private areas. Where it's like, hey, we should go to those hot springs. And then so many of them are not mm, sanitary <laughs> that we've come across. So this was fantastic. After every person, they, they drain it and clean it. There's hot, fresh water flowing in. It's so minerally. This is my travel ring. It's silver. Look what the minerals did to it. I leave my real ring in a very safe place. <laughs> They have camping and stuff too. It's so okay, where are we heading now? Starbucks. <laughs> After a wonderful time at the hot springs, the weather turned dismal. So we headed back to the hotel room to snuggle up and watch some Oregon football. <laughs> then we motored through a 10 hour road trip to see our family for Thanksgiving. But that's a story for next week's episode. I like it. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>